Good afternoon, my fellow scientists. It is Thursday, August 10th, 2017. I want to talk to you about open source options for doing simultaneous voltage and current measurements. If you want to measure voltage and current simultaneously, one option is to use a potentiostat, and there are two open source potentiostats available through kits, links in the description, one of which has de been described extensively in the academic literature. Great paper I'll link to as well. These are mostly used for doing electrochemical measurements, measuring unknown solutions of some electroactive molecule and determining its concentration, for instance, or determining its diffusion coefficient. So they're used in analytical chemistry a lot. That's where I'm familiar with them. The first of the open source potentiostats is the Hui stat, which is in its fifth version. I tried version three, which worked reasonably well, but I'm confident version five is even better. The second open source potential stat is the cheap stat, which you can purchase as a kit from IO Rodeo. It's also been described extensively in this PLOS One paper. The first application they describe is using their cheap stat to do DNA diagnostics, which is pretty exciting. Third option is a microcontroller based potential stat, which I think would be a fun thing to explore on this vlog. They could also be used to perform the kind of experiments that we're talking about. So if you want to measure the charge discharge curve of a battery, the best way to do it is to measure your current and your voltage simultaneously. You set your voltage on an external power supply to be exactly equal to the voltage of the battery, you get zero current. Then you reduce the voltage that you're applying by just a little bit so that you get some current out of your battery. That current decays at this constant voltage and then you reduce the applied voltage to keep the current up. So your current doesn't remain exactly constant, but by tweaking the voltage every so often, you can keep the current of your discharge within a specified range. And by recording that voltage over time, while you're keeping your current approximately constant, you can then calculate your current and voltage during the full decay. If you don't want to get that complicated, you can also get a much simpler circuit using just the voltage input from an Arduino. So the idea here is you're just gonna watch your voltage over time as your battery discharges itself through a resistor. And it should obey a somewhat ideal battery curve. At some point though, it's gonna hit some threshold of voltage and you're gonna to wanna to shut down the circuit so it doesn't damage the battery, you need some kind of switch. The circuit that I will link to uh, actually has a automated switch such that when you, it hits that predefined low voltage level, the Arduino sends a voltage to this transistor through a digital output and that shuts off the current. The theory is sound though it does rely on the discharge through a big resistor here and it makes the assumption that that resistor is ideal in order to calculate how much current is flowing rather than measuring the current directly, which can give some systematic error to the measurement. But if we're just trying to get an idea for comparing two batteries, it's not unreasonable. So there's a link to an Instructables on how to build that circuit, much simpler. So if you like that kind of thing, you like talking about batteries and open source science and open source instruments, Stay tuned to the Allen Lab. We update Monday through Friday. We talk about science, progress, detectors, and electrochemistry here in the Allen Lab.